this section, it's lesson two for math. So I'll do now, we are going to practice writing our numbers. So grab your whiteboard and your pens and let's practice. So we are going to practice writing the number two first. So it's half a heart says I love you. Add a line. Now I've made the number two. Can you have a go at doing number two for me? Brilliant. Let's practice number three now. This one is really tricky. So it's around the tree, around the tree. Can you have a go? Let's do number five. Number five is super tricky too. So you do draw the hat, the back and the belly. And finally, let's do number eight. Let's have a really good look at number eight. Some of us find this really tricky. So you have to do an S and then you close the gate. Can you have a go? It's time to say our learning objective to our pencil. To know what is one fewer than a number within 15. To know what is one fewer than a number within 15. We had this learning objective yesterday as well, but today we're going to practice it a little bit more because it's tricky. You're going to need some resources from your work packs. The first thing you'll need is the number track to 15. This was from our old work pack, so hope you've kept that safe. You'll also need some small objects to count and you'll need your whiteboard and pen or your home learning book. Can you pause this video and grab those things for me, please? It's time for our star words. Number. And our numbers from 0 to 15. One fewer than. Number line. So we know that fewer just means less. Yesterday we practiced this by taking one off. So I had a group of objects, so I've got 12 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've got 12 objects here, and I want to work out what 1 fewer than 12 is. What do I need to do, reception? I need to take one off. Excellent. So I've taken one off. How many do I have now? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I've got 11 now, so I started off with 12, and now I've got 11. So that means 1 fewer than 12 is equal to 11. Today we are going to use a number track to help us. So we have a number track on our screen from 0 to 15, and then we're going to use this to help us work out what 1 fewer is. So if I start off with 12, because I started off with 12 objects, I want to work out 1 fewer, 1 less, and we know that means that we have to take one off, so we need to go backwards. To go backwards, and that will give us the number 11. So, just like we worked out, I started off with 12, took one off, and now I've got 11. The number track tells us the exact same answer. So, I started off with 12, then I've taken one off, and now I've got 11. Do you think the number goes bigger or smaller when you're working out fewer? Have a think in your head and then I want you to tell your pencil or shout the answer out to me. Do you think the number goes bigger? Do you think the number goes smaller? Have a think. That's right, the number always goes smaller because you're taking one off. So you go backwards on your number track. It's time for our independent activity now. So in today's lesson, we are going to be working out what one fewer is. I want you to have a go at writing the number sentence today. Some of us are getting very good at this. You can use your, your you can use your objects or you can use the number track to help you. So remember, you're working out one fewer or one less, so you jump one backwards. So I've got some questions today and that I want you to answer. You can write them down on your whiteboard or in your home learning book. What is one fewer than 15? What is one fewer than 13? 
What is one fewer than 12? What is one fewer than 10? Send a picture of your work. If you find it a little bit tricky writing the sentence one fewer than 15 is equal to 14, you might find that a little bit tricky. So you might just want to write the number sentence. So I'll do a big number 15 and it's fewer. So I'm taking away one. So take away one is equal to 14. Taken one off. And now that answer is 14. Some of us might find it easier just to write this down on our whiteboard. You can send a picture of that as well. We have a challenge activity here because some of us find this way too easy. So as a challenge activity, I want you to see if you can work out what two fewer is. I will give you some examples and you have to work them out. You can write them down on your whiteboard or in your home learning book as well. Remember, you can use your objects or your number track to help you with this as well. So what is 2 fewer than 15? What is 2 fewer than 14? What is 2 fewer than 11? What is 2 fewer than 8? And what is 2 fewer than 5? Send those pictures in and see so your teachers can see. I can't wait to see your hard work. Bye everyone.